This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everyone. Let's start the session for today. Now, in the previous session, we had done with a couple of vouchers, yes? I think uh, we had completed till accounting of supply of services to, we had provided advertising services of 5 lakh to Zell Private Limited. We had ended the Voucher entry till here, I suppose. Yes. Can you? Yes. So from here we'll carry on. I think we had discussed with stock journal voucher, fiscal stock voucher. Then we had uh, GST supplies inclusive of taxes, where including the MRP value. Normally we see any commodity or product, whichever we purchase, we, we always see this MRP inclusive of taxes. So we found out just how to take the MRP based, where we can see both the exclusive of tax and inclusive of tax. Yes, all of us were able to get. So this is all we have got, uh, this GST supplies inclusive of tax. If anyone has not got, let me know so that I can repeat the entry if required. Yes, I hope all of you have got this. Next we had the accounting of uh, supply of services. Where we treat the inward supply of services by using a purchase voucher. And we treat the outward supply of services by using a sales route. We never say we purchase services, rather we say we receive services. And when we are providing services, we don't say we sell services, we sell services, right? So in this uh, context, uh, we had passed a transaction where the company provided advertising services worth 5 lakh to Zenith Private Limited. Additionally, a GST at 18 person was charged to the invoice. So we had to the same where we gave CGST and SGST. Yes, so now we discuss about the exempted services. Now, exempted services don't find a place in the race. In the sense, they do find a place in the GST tariff, but they don't find a place as taxable. In the sense, 5%, 2%, 28%, 40%. So, what is the difference between exempted and non GST? You know, there's a big lot of difference. Now, what is petrol? Is it exempted or it is non GST? Which we had discussed in earlier sessions. How can we categorize petrol? Anyone can tell, reply for this. How, how did we categorize petrol earlier? Okay. 
Is there a voice order? Thank you. Petrol is not exempted, rather, petrol is non GST. Petrol is never treated as an exempted, but it is a non GST. It doesn't come within the ambit of GST. Rather, if you take newspapers, journals, periodicals, then you have your daily products like milk, butter, paneer. Now, even talking about uh, butter, paneer, cheese, and all, if the product purchased, like unbranded loose packets, then it is exempted. But in case if you go for a branded one, like milky mist paneer, amul cheese, amul paneer, like that, then it will be taxable in nature. Okay. So let's check out the tariff how they appear. So here we have the list, right? So we have the complete chapter list, I can say. Okay. So here, let's select under the exemption. Preparation of vegetables, fruits, nuts, or other parts of plants. We get that. Yes. Now here, if you can observe, against that particular rate. Yes. Sorry, against the particular commodity, you have tax rate applicability. Yes. Now, if you know, go from the starting. Chapter 20 is what? Preparation of vegetables, fruits, nuts, or other parts of plants. So, see if, you do, if you check out the first commodity, vegetable, fruits, nuts, and other edible parts of plant, prepared or preserved by a vinegar, if it is stored, canned food, we say, no, they are taxable at 30%. If it is cucumbers, uh, jerkins, and all that, 30 others is also 30 If you If it is canned food, you have taxable rate. But in case if you uh, uh, purchase fresh cucumbers, fresh fruits and vegetables, they are exempted from GST. So this is all, if you see, it is all cat foods, frozen, or even though if it is not frozen, if it is preserved by vinegar or any other uh, solution, it is all taxable at a particular rate. Now see, if you have jams, fruit jellies, marmalades, fruit or nut puree, okay? Obtained by cooking, whether or not containing added sugar or other sweetening matters, they are all taxable at 30%. Cashew nuts roasted, salted, or roasted and salted, 45%. So, like this, if you check, now see, here it is completely taxable. Like fruit cocktails, squash, what you get, of mango, lemon, orange, pineapple, and all that, they are taxable at one specific rate, yes? So, here everywhere it is taxable. Now, if we go back and check, right, the exemption list, now this is talking about the imports. Yes, so this is, has to be viewed according to the uh, notification. Yes, this is all the general exemptions which is being given state wise. But I will show you the list of commodities. 
by which we have secured exception. Okay. Yes, so can you see here? We have the HSL code. Okay, we have the description of foods, but against it, what it is showing is fresh milk, pasteurized milk, milk and cream, not concentrated nor containing added sugar, 0%. If you take curd, lassi, buttermilk, they're all like. I know not branded loose packets if you purchase. That tax rate zero percent. If you take chana or paneer, as I told you just now, okay, it is zero percent. But if you go for you know milky mist paneer or amul or nandi, it will be tax. Again, natural honey, human hair. And we can't hear you.
Is my voice audible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So just yeah, just want to make out. Please, uh, please make sure you respond. Otherwise, I'll not make. I, I cannot come to know whether my voice is audible or not. Okay. No, my voice is not breaking, right? Okay. So let's continue the session. So when you're creating agricultural services under sales account, type of ledger not applicable, cost center no, GST applicable. Over here itself, we have to activate the GST details. Set or alter GST yes. You get the GST details screen, yes? Now over here, description we have to give it as agricultural service. So let's find out what is the Hedgeson code for agricultural services, okay? Agricultural services. So we have here. So here commodities it may come. We have to go for the SAC code. Okay. SAC code for agricultural services because it is it's meant for goods. Yes, can you make out here? The SAC code for agricultural services is double nine eight six one nine. So you have to enter this as the uh, code for agricultural uh, services SAC code. The main is double nine eight six. After that, 1961, it depends like what kind of agricultural services are they. If you wish, you can give it as 99867. Okay. In brief, is non GST no? Nature of transactions you have to choose for agriculture as what? We are providing agricultural services, yes. So, sales exempt. Two sales exempt. And type of supply, please select as services. Yes, then press enter and save the ledger. Accept, yes. Yes, so then what we'll do is, once we create the lecture, let's go to the vouchers. We are providing agricultural services. So select the sales voucher, F8 sales voucher. Now to whom agricultural services are being provided? To KK Farms, right? So create KK Farms lecture. Ma'am, yeah. Ma'am, we already completed this ma'am on Friday. That's what I was asking you, but none of you uh, responded. That is it being done, not being done? Yes. We was we was not able to hear you, ma'am. No, I think I've been. Or you can just watch out on the screen right, when I was discussing exempted services. It's fine. So we can recreate the ledger again, not an issue. So we can select KK Farms again. I'll just repass the ledger in case for the ones who have not got it. Okay. Sales account. Okay. Here we give sales exempt. And here we can't uh, go for the name of the item. So <coughs> press Control H, change mode. We go for the accounting invoice mode as it is a service, it is not a product. Okay. So here we chose agricultural services and we gave 50. Sales exempt. 
So if we try to give GST, it won't be accounted. So name is KK Farms. Base cap. So being agricultural services provided or rent. to type the narration, press uh, pass to it. Okay. Now, let's go for the next concept. Yes, uh, had we discussed about the receipt note voucher? Was no, there a discussion? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, if I talk about a receipt note voucher, now when is this entered? Now, I've given here a receipt note voucher is used for record stocks received from the supplier at stores. Okay. And it is also called as a GRN, that is goods received note. Fine. Now, Probably all of you would have observed it, or at least some of you would have observed it. If you take an example of a stationery shop, or any uh, wholesale uh, or retail shop, if you take, if you take, let's say, an example of a stationery shop, now the stationery business owner, the one who runs the stationery business, he will place an order for. Let's say here I've given us 100 notebooks. We'll take 100 notebooks only, okay? From his regular supplier. Now, he supplies the notebooks in a couple of days, probably one day or two days or three days, depending upon, uh, depending upon the time taken to supply that particular stock, okay? And once the stock is supplied by his supplier, now, will a bill be immediately generated? No. Normally, he gives a document kind where there is details of the parties. Just a moment. Yes, so, so I was telling about the example, right? So when he supplies the stock, so what happens? He will issue a small uh, uh, piece of equipment where the goods uh, received details will be there in the sense what order had been placed, what was received by the uh, receiver, the stationary owner, how much order he had he has placed and how much he has received. All these things will be recorded. I've also shown you an example of the goods receipt notes when we are passing even the purchase vouchers, if you remember, the details of the uh, stock received. So I will just show you again how this GRN appears. Okay. So that I can just relate it directly. Yes, so here we have a sample uh, GRN form, which I had showed you earlier also when we are passing the poachers. Yes, so this was the format we had seen. I, I hope all of you remember this. So, this GRN format will comprise of the name of the supplier, the date, the advice note number, the order number, Delivery uh, cost center. At the bottom, if you see, you have goods, pack size, price, order quantity, delivered quantity, and commits, which means whatever goods have been received, the complete uh, pack size, price per pack or the price per piece, 
what 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 was the quantity that was ordered how much was delivered by the supplier that's it now here do you anywhere see there is a gst component involved we have c gst s gst or we have like uh, how the invoice is uh, 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 built how the invoice is made is there any format appearing here no it is a proof that you have you in the sense the company has received this from the supplier it is not a purchase of stock from the supplier rather it is evidencing the receipt of stock from the supplier now why this is done once the stocks are received from the supplier the stock verified stock inspection takes place and what happens in case if any defects are notified any damages are seen then what happens is let's say out of 100 notebooks around 20 notebooks are damaged the pages are not proper the binding is stolen some damage would have happened now the, that that particular stationery business owner can sell the same stock to the customer not possible right even if one sim a single damage is seen the customer will not purchase the product <coughs> yes so what happens is he will first verify the stock and then he will ask the supplier to raise the invoice in his name yes so the same entry we are passing here which means before a purchase uh, invoice or before a purchase voucher in our books of accounts which means before the bill is raised by the supplier for the uh, purchased quantity first a grn is issued by him, okay which the company receives so that is goods receipt proof so we are evidencing the same to the charity voucher now if you observe here in the uh, note what i have given you this is used for recording the stocks received i have never given here as this is used for recording the stocks purchased for stocks purchased we go for a purchase voucher but for the stocks received from the supplier we always go for a receipt note voucher <coughs> and the function key for receipt note voucher is all f9 okay it is also called as the grn the goods receipt note now here at the bottom i have given a simple exercise company received 100 numbers i have never given here as company purchased company has only received stock now just now i showed you the format right how the grn appears yes so that we are evidencing through a voucher that is a receipt note voucher evidencing receipt of 100 ledger books at rupees 100 per book from kk enterprises okay so let's pass a save voucher let's go back to the tally right and what is our functional key for receipt note voucher alt f9 but if we press here alt f9 we are not able to get the receipt note voucher what is happening if we check in the vertical button bar we are having date company contra payment receipt journal sales purchase other vouchers change board more details rated reports option and all that but we don't find the voucher as a receipt note so what we have to do what we have to do is in the vertical button bar press f10 other vouchers okay please i hope all of you have selected f10 other vouchers now still if we see is receipt note voucher appearing in the list of voucher types no so what we have to do select show inactive show inactive yes so here you can observe it is not yet activated a receipt note voucher is not yet activated right so please press enter on the same and press enter now tally will ask you you need to activate the receipt note voucher type activate now so please yes select as yes yes so here we get the receipt note voucher okay yes so when we press alt f9 or when when we go for it we'll get a receipt note voucher
what so now what we have to do is we have arrived at the receipt to voucher so what you can observe it will appear same as a purchase voucher party account is there purchase ledger is there day of the item but how do we know if all of you have observed under the receipt note here the reference number now in the purchase voucher what do you observe what do you observe in the purchase voucher if you go to f9 in the receipt note you are getting reference number in the purchase voucher what is the document number we see yes come on can i have an answer for this what do you see in the purchase voucher invoice number yes it is invoice number so here what do we see a reference number that is nothing but a grn reference number now what i have shown you can you see here at the top yes so you have the grn number that's the reference number which we put up there got it so here as of now you can just give it as 001 okay enter date we cannot make any changes so press enter on the date party account of course now to whom we are receiving the stock uh, we are receiving from i think kk uh, enterprises okay so we will create a ledger as kk enterprises okay so just type as kk enterprises country creditor bill by bill yes though it is not an actual bill but kind of a format so even though you give bill yes, no it doesn't have any uh, impact yes so here if you can observe you have terms of payment other references now just now i have given you the format right term of payment now in case if the stocks are being purchased how the company is going to pay the supplier like i will give it as e fund transfer okay so you can give it as e fund or you can also give it as check other references is other other uh, communication which is required for generating the grn otherwise just press enter terms of delivery now is the payment being made on the same day the stocks are received by the company how is the case or stock inspection is done first and then the bill is generated so like this terms and conditions we have to record it here so in short you can give it as payment made payment made or payment done on invoice received that that is a grn document number we had given as 001 we can put up the same here now how the books have been it is through an auto or something we can give destination now where is the companies where is our stationery business probably it is in let's say jayanagar so we'll give it as jayanagar o block carrier name who is the transporter of all these books uh, probably shiva enterprises the bill of lading lr rr is not required in case if it is required you can give or you can directly give the motor vehicle okay Here you can give the uh, if you require the KK enterprises G G and B S T number. Okay. Purchase account. Now here you choose purchase taxable. You have to choose purchase taxable because it is interest rate. 
So we are choosing poetry is taxable. We are selecting the ledger books. Yes, so here you have to be extra careful. Please don't go blindly here. List of tracking numbers. Here we make a mistake, we are gone. So what is the tracking number we had given? It is visible very much in your screen itself, the reference number what we had given. <coughs> we had given as 001, okay? So select 001 because Tally will also give a default number. What you have given, you have to select it. So here I had given as 001, so I'll select the same here. Now location. Now when I receive 100 notebooks, where do I store? That go down. How much I'm receiving from him? 100 notebooks. And what is, at what rate is he, uh, you know, giving the book? At rupees 100 per book. Yeah. So 100 per book. End of list. Now here we cannot give CGST, SGST. As I told, if you go back and check the GRN, is there any GST component involved here? No, there is no GST. Received by, checked by is there. Description of the goods is there. What is the ordered quality, delivered quantity is there. But nowhere we see the GST concept is there. Yes, which means we are not implementing GST in a receipt note voucher. You have to be very, very careful on that. Please don't put CGST and SGST. It is not an invoice. It is not a tax invoice. It is only a receipt note. Okay. So even in the narration, you have to put it as big ledger books. Received from KK Enterprises. Yes. What is it up? So like this, you have to pass the narration. Okay. So please pass the entry under receipt note voucher. Once you type the narration, pass the entry. Okay, so this is how we pass the receipt note voucher. Now, what I have told you, my company receives 100 ledger notebooks from KK Enterprises. So towards the evidencing the receipt of 100 ledger books from KK Enterprises, a receipt note voucher has been passed, yes? All of you are done with that. Now, we'll press the escape key. And if we go to the day book, all of you go to the day book. Now, you have a list of vouchers, right? We have contra, payment, received, the range goes. Now, if I have to view selectively one voucher, I have to press F4. Press F4. You get the list of voucher types. Now here I will select a receipt note voucher. Press enter on receipt note voucher. Yes, so we get the voucher here. Press enter on the save. The voucher gets opened. Now, please press Alt P. Print. Alt P is for print. It will show as current or others. Select current, press enter on current. You, you need not go to print or configure. You can just go to preview. Can select preview option. Yes. So here, if you press Alt Z Zoom, you can view the receipt note. Yes, this is how it appears. Or if you're able to get this receipt note voucher, which is visible in my screen. Ma'am, can you repeat it now? Are you in the receipt note voucher? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes. From there, you press Alt P, print. What are you? What, what is the option you're getting in your screen? Correct and others. Yes, ma'am. Select current. Now you get configure preview at print. So you have to select preview. Don't go to print. So that would be the very yeah, uh, So press Control Z, Alt Z. Sorry, Alt Z. If you go, you're able to zoom in. You're able to get the receipt note format. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Like this, we have passed the receipt note. Now what happens? We'll continue the, you know, the story here. <laughs> now what happens is. Company has received 100 ledger books from KK Enterprises. Now it goes for a stock verification. It has to check everything, right? Whether all 100 are proper, is the binding proper, as I told, there are no damages because I cannot sell a damaged stock to my customer. Yes, it's, it's not possible. So what has to be done is a stock verification takes place. Now, what would have happened out of 100 notebooks, a couple of notebooks would be damaged. Now I cannot retain the same. I have to send it back to KK Enterprises. Yes. Now to send it back, which voucher should I use? Now normally for a purchase return, which is the voucher I have used? It is debit note. Yes. To record all the purchase returns. In the same way, to record the return of stock, I'm repeating it again. To record the return of stock before the invoice is generated, before the bill is generated, we should not use a debit note. Rather, we have to use another new voucher that is rejection out voucher. This rejection out voucher. So, let me discuss that rejection out voucher. Yes, this is the one. So, what is the function key for rejection out voucher? It is control F5. Now, what do we mean by this rejection out voucher? It is used to record the goods that are rejected and returned to the supplier before raising the invoice for the purchases made. Yes, before the bill is raised. In case if any stocks have to be returned back to the supplier that time, a rejection of voucher, this voucher is entered. Okay. Now, here I'm given the exact entry. Now, after receiving 100 notebooks, out of 100, 20 notebooks are damaged. Okay. So, what happens is 20 notebooks are uh, returned back to KK Enterprises. Rate remains the same. Rate will not vary. Okay, so this entry we have to pass in rejection out voucher. So let's go to rejection out. Now, if we go back and tally, we press the escape key, come back to the gateway of tally screen. Now once we come back to the gateway of tally, if we go to the vouchers and press enter, we already have the receipt note voucher activated. Now, if you press Control F5, are we getting rejection of voucher? No. Again, we have to activate the rejection out voucher. So, what did we do for activating receipt note voucher? We went to F10 other vouchers. Yes. Same way, we press F10 other vouchers and show inactive. Select show inactive. Now over here, we have under inventory vouchers, we have rejection out voucher. The functional key is given against it, control F5. So press enter on the same. So it will ask a question. You need to activate the rejection out voucher type. Activate now. Yes. Yes. So this is the format. Hope all of you are getting this rejection out voucher screen. Please, uh, please bring up the rejection out voucher.
Now, all of us have the rejection out voucher. Yes. Now here, very very simple. Now date we have no permission to change. Otherwise, we would have changed the date after ten days, giving the period. Simple. Pre press the space bar. Now, to which party we are returning the books back? It is KK Enterprises. So select KK Enterprises. Select KK Enterprises. Yes. Both the sides under suppliers name and the ledger account we have KK Enterprises. If you wish, you can give the address of KK Enterprises again, or you can just ignore the address line. Press enter. Come to the name of the item. Now, what is this stock item that has been returned back? It's ledger books. So space bar again. Let you select ledger books. Now here you have to be extra careful. Now in the list of tracking numbers, you have again one and zero zero one. So you have to capture zero zero one and dot one. So select zero zero one. Yeah. So you get the details, the quantity, and everything. Okay. So, ma'am. Yes, pa. Hold on. How do we get this uh, item allocation screen? Item allocation screen. You're on a meeting. Yes, yes ma'am. Are you the rejection or voucher? Yes, ma'am. Have you selected name of the item as ledger box? Yes, ma'am. Press enter on that. Now you're able to get like this list of tracking numbers. Yes, ma'am, I got it. Okay. So press enter the tracking number which you have given. Now quantity it will show as hundred. Okay. Now. Actually, out of hundred, what is the stock that has been returned back to the supplier? It is only twenty. We are not returning for. Okay, so we'll just select twenty over there. Okay, rate per book is hundred only. We are not taking the rate. It is hundred itself. Okay, so quantity is twenty number. Rate is hundred per book. That's all. So enter, come back, come to the narration. End of list. So we're going to follow up to the narration. Now here, one sensitive observation you can make: Is there a CGST, SGST uh, quoting here? No. What I've told you, it is not a bill where we have to deduct or subtract CGST like how we did for a debit quoting. Okay. So there is no question of CGST, SGST, a deduction coming into picture. So narration, what we'll give as the cabbaged. Ledger books returned being damaged. Ledger books returned back to KK Enterprises. So this is how we pass the narration: being damaged. Ledger books returned back to KK Enterprises. Right. So type the narration. There is no bill element involved here. So once you type the narration, press enter. Accept. Yes. Now let's go back and check. Our stock summary screen. Okay. Now, how do we go? Alt G, go to option. So the go to option we have stock summary. Press enter on stock summary. Select ledger books. Press enter. Keep on pressing enter until you get the stock item voucher screen. Okay. Now here. All of you can observe at the last in the brackets it has been given purchase bill pending from KK Enterprises for 80 numbers. Yes, 100 numbers of books were received from KK Enterprises. Out of 100, 20 pieces were damaged, which we have returned back to KK Enterprises. 
so for remaining 80 notebooks the bill has to be generated this is what tally is communicating to you in the brackets it is coming as what purchase bills pending okay which means the bill has not been generated yet from kk enterprises for these 80 pieces of books if you press enter it will take you to the screen bills pending screen can you see the bill is not being generated which means name of the party kk enterprises tracking number date everything has been given but at the top there is a statement goods received but bills not received which means the possession of the goods is is done okay the goods have been received but the bill is not yet generated by kk enterprises in the name of our company okay so can you see the order place was 100 for that 20 was returned back so for remaining 80 pieces that's the pending quantity the bill has to be generated so if you press and enter here it will give you a complete clarity that received were 100 rejected were 10 for remaining 80 pieces bill has to be generated yes and this is the time where we pass a purchase voucher so all, always whenever the stocks are being received we always go for a receipt note voucher in case out of the stocks received if some damages are observed before the invoice is raised we go for a rejection out voucher then for the remaining stock the purchase voucher is passed in our books of accounts on the support of the invoice which has been raised by the supplier. In case after raising the invoice, if the stocks are still returned on account of some valid reason, then a debit note is required to be passed. Now we got the point. So we start with a receipt note voucher. Then we go for rejection out and then we go for a purchase voucher and then we go for a debit note. Okay, so like this is how we pass. So I wanted to explain you the difference between a purchase voucher and a receipt note voucher, a debit note and a rejection out voucher. So press escape key and back to the gateway of tally screen. Okay. Now after going for the rejection out voucher, that is control plus F5, we go for the next one, that is delivery note voucher. Okay, so delivery note voucher, what is the function key for delivery note voucher? It is Alt F8. Okay. This voucher is used for recording the stocks delivered to the customer from the stores. It is also called as a delivery chalak. So, this all of you would have observed in case if your family goes for the purchase of any TV, washing machine or anything, and that delivery boy comes and delivers to your house, right? He gets a document signed from you. Madam, please sign this. Sir, please, please, sir. Uh, Give a signature on this Why? certifying that you have received this stock. So he has delivered it to you. That's only your delivery chalan or delivery note. <laughs> so the same voucher we are going to pass here. Okay. Now, before that, I would like to show you one invoice. Now, all of you would have booked online, right? If you go for Flipkart, Snap Deal. Or anything, Mishu, Amazon, or any uh, e-commerce. Now, if you remember the invoice, how it appears. Yes, how the invoice may appear when we go for a, a purchase. So that invoice generated by these uh, e-commerce uh, websites. So that will be pasted on the particular product or commodity which you which you have ordered online, right? Yes. There are plastered it. Now, if you remember how the invoice is uh, invoice appears, let's check and tally also. 
Yes? Now, all of you will go to the daybook. Please select daybook. Now, you have n number of coaches displayed in daybook. Okay? Now, if we have to filter the vouchers, which is the functional key we have to select? F4. Select F4. Okay. Now, here, select purchase voucher. Purchase. Select purchase. You have the list of purchase vouchers. Yes? We have passed so many. We have passed totally around uh, 10 purchase vouchers. Now, we will select one of the vouchers. I think we will select, uh, here I am selecting probably play traders. You can select any purchase voucher. Press enter. Now this particular purchase voucher is uh, active, right? Now, what you will do is, you will press Alt P. Select current option. You have to select preview. Yes. So this is how the bill is generated. So if you press Alt Z, zoom in. Can you see? Yes. Is this the way the bill is being generated? When you go for a purchase, more or less the same. Which means... Tally software is used everywhere in every nook and corner for generation of bills, tax invoices. Yes. So do we have the same billing format, more or less? I hope all of you have got this. Purchase invoice or purchase bill, tax invoice bill. Much more details if we update, we will get the same. In case this bill requires some more additions, let's say. Uh, you know it is not enough what we have to do is we can go for configure option press the back uh, escape key once you press the escape key you will come back to the print screen okay select configure there see for configure now here 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 you can see now what details you want in the bill now you are now every design its own tax invoices are built right how it has to appear Yes, it gives all for you to design the tax invoices. So how you want, you can generate it here. Including, it is a printer to be attached to the system. That is also will be given. Yes, can you observe here? Which is the printer? Complete details will be dispatched here. Okay? Like this. So if you want that particular feature to be activated, you have to just enter. Only enter. And if you have to move down, you can use the navigation keys. Now, if I have to activate show dispatch details, press enter. Then move down, show terms of payment, enter, like that. Okay. Once you're done, press control A and you can come back to the preview option. Yes, and alt is it. Right, so this is how the purchase invoice appears. Similarly, you can also go for a sales invoice. Press escape key and let's go back to the daybook. Okay. Press enter on the daybook again. Again, F4, voucher type. Select sales vouchers. Now, we can select, so I'll select your Kathan Electronics subpart. You can select any sales voucher. Press enter. Now again, same procedure, Alt P, print option, select current, preview. Yes, this is how you see, all of you uh, have evidenced this, right? When that particular person is selling you any product or commodity, is this the same format you see a bill of Snapdeal, Flipkart, Amazon and all that? Yes, more or less the same. This is how we can is how the invoice is being generated by them. You can cross check with whatever invoice in case you're currently having it, it will be more or less the same. So this is how the invoices are generated in the tally software. I hope all of you have got this for both purchase and sales.
Now we'll go back to the poachers. So we are discussing about the delivery note voucher. So I've given a small example. Company delivered four numbers of Whirlpool washing machines at 15,000 per number to Maria Enterprises. Okay. So our company has delivered four pieces of Whirlpool washing machines. And what is the rate per number? 15,000 to Maria Enterprises. It is also a company, right? So let's go back to the tally screen, go to the vouchers. Now here, what do you do? Press F10, show inactive, select show inactive and then again you have to activate delivery note voucher. Press enter on delivery note voucher. You need to activate delivery note voucher type, activate now. So what you have to do is you have to activate it as yes. Okay. Yeah. So here you get the delivery note. It will appear the same as your sales voucher. But as, but as I told you, it is not the same voucher we are carrying out. First, the stocks are delivered. It is stock verified by the customer. In case severe damages are observed, it will, it will return them back. And then afterwards, a, a bill is generated by our company. Okay. Now here, what you can do is party account name. You have to give it as Mania Enterprises. So in the list of ledgers, select create option and create a party ledger as Mania Enterprises. Create a ledger as Mania Enterprises. Okay. So once you create Mania under sundry tables, will Babel yes? Now this actually normally this is how the procedure takes place. Now if you place an order through Swiggy, Zomato, Snapdeal, Flipkart, Amazon, Big Basket. Against the order number only, the stocks are delivered. Yes. Against the order number only, your food is delivered. Yes. So order number plays a very, very important role. Against the order, because if you take the example of a Swiggy or Zomato, that person will not be, uh, that person will not even really know that what you are, what you have ordered for, what you are consuming. What he will do, he will just show the order number, the particular restaurant. Okay. Then he will cross check the order number and then he will, uh, you know, he will give that particular uh, food item to that particular uh, Swiggy or Zomato uh, boy. So what happens is he will not know that what is, what is the food and what is being consumed. Only the order number works there, right? So order number plays a very, very important role. Let's put as 001 simple order number. Terms of payment, how we gave for a receipt note, right? The same way. Receipt, but here it is the other way. Receipt of payment against bill rates. Receipt of payment against the bill rates. Other references not required. Terms of delivery. Uh, okay, okay. Terms of terms of payment is actually uh, sorry. It is like check. Thank you. Right. Check it is terms of delivery. We have receipt of payment against the bill rates. How the uh, Customer is making the payment by check. Terms of delivery is receipt of pay against against the bill. Dispatch. Now, how the stocks are being dispatched? The document number, 
give it as one dispatch so now how the stocks are being delivered here we have given whirlpool washing machines give it as step one destination now where the place of business comes now from my company it is going to money enterprises yes so let's assume money enterprises in kormagla so you can give it as kormagla okay carrier name now from my company i'm delivering a stock of whirlpool washing machines to mania so it is a carrier name transporters name are transporters give the word motor vehicle name. okay sales account it is taxable but lot what we are not going to take up the cgst sgst here as space bar select whirlpool washing machines select whirlpool washing machines so we are delivering at 15000 per number four numbers so what we had given tracking number as one location okay we have in two locations we have in location two quantity three are there so we're done we're at 15000 per number and we will have okay we will select one Again, we have location one, one washing machine. Totally quantity four numbers are being delivered to Bani Enterprises at 15,000 per number. So totally they are priced at 60,000 for four pieces of washing machines. No GST here, even though at the bottom it gives you provide GST EA bill details, you're not going to give it up because there is no GST corporate involved here. Okay. So, we Whirlpool, this is how we pass the donation. Being Whirlpool washing machines delivered against the order or against the order number. Zero zero or no one we have given here, right? So being whirlpool washing machines delivered against the order placed. If you want, you can give the order number also here. Okay. Once you type the narration, pass the entry. Right? So now pass the entry. We want to set both the details for able generation. We can give it as no. Okay. Now. Now we go for the next set of coaches. Now, my company has delivered four Whirlpool washing machines at 15,000 per number to Bali Enterprises. Yes. Now, out of four washing machines delivered, okay, what happens is here, I've given here three numbers are being sent back. Four were delivered, one is received, but three are sent back. So, to record that return of stock from the customer to the company, we go for a 
rejection in voucher. Why rejection in? Because the stocks are again coming into the business. If you go for a rejection out voucher on a receipt of stock, we are sending it back to the supply. So to going out. Here, rejection in, we are receiving the stocks back. So this is used to record the goods that are rejected and returned by the customer before raising the sales invoice. Okay. So what is the functional key for rejection in voucher? It is control plus F6. Okay. Now, here I have given the exercise for the same. After a couple of days, company received three numbers of Whirlpool washing machines at 15,000 per number. Rate remains the same. The rate will not vary from money enterprise against the goods delivered or account of damages. Okay. So out of four, one is being accepted, but the other three are sent back by money enterprises. So we have to record the same in our tiny software. So we'll go for a rejection in voucher. Now, in the rejection in now rejection in voucher is not activated again. We have to activate. Now, if you press the functional key, control F6, it's not appearing. If I do uh, Alt F6, you have credit close, right? So what you have to do? You have to go to F10 other vouchers and again show inactive. And here you have the rejection control F6. Can you see? So Alt F6 is what? Alt F6 is a credit note. Control F6 is a rejection in voucher. It is not yet activated. We have to activate it. Please press enter on the same. We need to activate the rejections in voucher type. Activate now. Press enter to accept it. Yes. Now how the rejection out voucher uh, screen appeared? In the same way, Gurana's rejection in voucher screen will also appear. Okay. Space bar. Select the party to whom we had delivered the stock. Money Enterprises, right? And also same. If you want to give, you can give the address line or come to the name of the item directly. Now, what has been returned back to the company? Now, it is showing as what? Zero. Because we had a stock of four Whirlpool washing machines. We had delivered to Barney Enterprises. We had zero stock. Now, if Barney Enterprises rejects three washing machines, now how many we'll have? We'll have three as closing stock. Yes. So select Whirlpool washing machines. Now here we have to select three are being uh, sent back. So I'll select the second. I'm getting a split for location one and location two. If you're getting the same location, choose the necessary location. But So here, change the quantity as. Okay. Yes. So three numbers are being returned. So what narration will be passed? The damaged pieces of whirlpool washing machines. Received back. They are not returning it back. We are receiving it back. So, being damaged pieces of Whirlpool washing machines received back. Okay. So, type the narration like this. Once you type the narration, press enter. That's all. Now, if you go back and check our stock summary, what would have happened? Alt G. You can go to the stock summary and over here we have yeah, washing machines now we will leave the IFP one whirlpool washing machines yes so here can you observe whirlpool washing machines yes so when you come to the stock item voucher screen you have to press keep on pressing enter until we come to the stock item voucher screen so once you come come there Okay, at the bottom last part, can you observe here? 
you have the sales bill pending, which means there was a zero stock of Whirlpool washing machines. Now three numbers are being received back because of damage. So only for one, the bill is pending. Okay, the remaining three are being received back. Okay, if you press enter on the same, yes. Can you observe here? The first, the first part says goods delivered but bills not made. Why? Because they were rejected back. Three numbers. But the second one you just see bills made but goods not delivered. So still one, it is still pending. Where we have to pass a sales voucher and then the um, amount quantity of this uh, quantity of purple washing machine gets verified. Okay, so this is how we can right escape key and come back to the gateway of data. So this is how the pairing takes place. We have the receipt note voucher. So first we began with, yeah, we have the receipt note voucher for receiving the stock at the place of business. If we find some damage, we have to return it back before the invoice is raised. We go for a rejection out voucher. And after that only the bill has been raised. So then in case if some stocks are delivered, goods are delivered, then to record the delivery of stock, we go for a delivery note voucher. In case if the customer finds any damages, then he will go for a return of the stock which has been delivered to him and then it goes for a rejection in. Now from this what you can observe, now if I go, I'm stopping here at rejection in a screen. Here you can observe, I have taken the party or the entity as Mani Enterprises or KK Enterprises like that. It's a company, entity. Because if the stocks are being delivered to us as a customer, we don't get this uh, rejection in voucher, delivery note voucher. Of course, delivery chalan is signed, that's it. It's a, it's a kind of the stocks are being delivered. But apart from that, at the time of purchase only, we get the invoice, right? This is not applicable for the customer because customer is the end point. This all takes place between who? It is B2B, business to business, not B2C. Okay, so this is all the B2B based entries which we have done so far. If you observe, of course, some of them are B2C, but these, if you if you talk about the receipt note voucher, rejection out voucher, delivery note voucher, rejection in voucher, all these are all B2B based, business to business based entries. Okay. So this I would not start in this session. In case you have passed, you having any issues, you are not able to understand any voucher. Let me know for the last few minutes so that we can discuss the same. You can please go through whatever you have done and let me know in case you have any doubts to ask. Okay. Yes, all of you have made the entries until the... Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is how the sequence we pass. So it goes on a round circle. So I'll just explain you by a chart in the last uh, few minutes how it goes about. Okay. Now, if we talk about the purchase side, which should we pass first? A receipt, no future. 
this may not happen exactly to all the entities most of them they follow the same procedure rejection out ucha then we have purchase ucha Like this. So if we go for the contrast, yes, we have the delivery note voucher, we have the rejection in voucher, then we have a sales voucher, and then we have a credit note. Okay, so this is the consequence which is maintained in all the tally entries. Okay, so we have covered the both the sides. That is before raising the invoice and after raising the invoice. So before raising the invoice, what is the consequence? After raising the invoice, what is the consequence? So I hope it is clear for all of you until here. So the next upcoming sessions, we'll go and learn a new, uh, new concepts. Okay, uh, how to create new voucher types. Until then, please keep your practice consistent. Make sure whatever has been done in the sessions have a good practice. Okay. So meet you up all in the next session. Thank you.